on this episode of the Fab Forums. I'm not working on the Bibster. I want to build an office table. So as most of you guys know, I'm in the middle of like building out the shop. And one of those things was to finish off this space with a nice office table. So that's what I did. I really wanted to try to build this thing with just scrap. Scrap metal I had laying around the shop. I didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of stuff to make it. So I had this big length of C-channel that I used. Ended up chopping it up and uh, using it for the legs. Started off by making a jig on the welding table. I figured I could do a jig that had the height on this thing 30 inches tall. And then it didn't really matter uh, as far as how great the cuts were and all that kind of stuff. If I kind of make it fit within this jig, I knew that uh, the table would be nice and level, the proper height. So that's what I did. Made a little jig on the welding table and then just started trimming and fitting the steel until it fit my jig. Once I had the X-Brace legs kind of finished up, tacked in, welded pretty well, uh, I just stood them up on the table, put a length of like two inch DOM tubing between the two of them, kind of welded those up. Uh, on the table, I knew that it'd be nice and square. As long as I had everything vertical, I knew I was gonna be in good shape. And then I just took some plate stock that I had laying around the shop, cut it in little sections, and slid it up under the table for the feet. Any issues with the fitment not being perfect on the bottom, I knew that the plates themselves would lay flat on the welding table, and then I just made up the difference with the actual welding, just filling all those joints. Once everything was welded up, I put a good healthy coat of shark hide on the whole thing. Got to keep it from rusting. What I did do though is any rust or scratches or um, any character that was already in the metal, I just left it on there, shark hide it right over it. Uh, I really like that rustic look to it. So I left every bit of that, just sealed it up so it doesn't change from here going forward. Yeah, 
And then I had to take the entire contraption and carry it to the office. Now this wasn't an easy chore because, um, well, I'm out of shape and this thing is heavy. So I literally just took a bunch of scrap that I had in the shop and threw together a base. I mean, obviously I wanted it to be pretty nice and I, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I had a bunch of the C-channel stuff. Funny thing is, I didn't have enough. I was about, I don't know, maybe an inch short. So what I did was I took the pieces I cut off the ends. So I had like this piece and that piece and if you put the two pieces together, it makes one piece. And then just kind of added it in there. So I was like literally that short to kind of finishing this thing up and just made it work. On the other side, you can even see the cut line still. I just left it. So one rad thing about doing projects like this where it's supposed to be rustic is like that kind of stuff doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, it adds to the character and the story of the build itself. So got all that done, uh, 30 inches high, probably a little bit higher once I put a top on it. Uh, this base is five foot and I'll probably hang two foot off each end, which would be nine feet or two and a half feet off each end, which would be 10 feet. Not 100% sure what I'm doing the top. We'll probably make multiple tops over the years. May start off with something pretty basic Thought about like doing a live edge slab. Um, I can get those pretty pretty easily locally. I'm just afraid that it's going to be too too woodsy. Too yeah, woodsy is that the word? And it kind of won't fit the theme of the shop. The shop is more you know old barn style, I guess. So a couple things I wanted to do while I was building this was I think. While I work in here, I'm going to push this thing all the way up against the wall, uh, right under the TV, and then, you know, kind of have it back, um, as long as it looks okay. Sometimes I'll need to pull this thing out, center it in the room, where I can get people all around it, or if we do the podcast, maybe put the cameras on that side. Uh, yeah, so I know where I was going with that. I had a point. I know what it was. I remember now. So the other thing I wanted to do too was if I want to kind of put it underneath that TV this way, you know, I want to be able to turn this whole table within this room. So I measured, you know, what would be corner to corner on say a nine or a 10 foot table and just made sure that it would fit between these two walls. So you could rotate this thing and then push it up under that, under that TV. I guess long story short, I just want this room to be convertible. You know, if I want to have a shindig and take the table, push up against the wall, uh, prep food over here, you know, kind of use the bar for what it is or, you know, put it under this, under the TV, do the same kind of thing. So yeah, I just want to make sure it's ultra convertible for whatever I want to use the space for. And then I also want it to be a functional conference style table office. Went ahead and bought some wide planks of pine. Um, Mainly just to make a temporary top. I didn't want it sitting here with just the frame. So probably going, going to like double this up. So I've got some more. I'll run some this way. So this thing will actually be like that thick. On the top. May cut like two inches off too. Because it's a little bit. You can see where I've got it doubled up over there. That's the actual width I want. Um, so I think it's 48 inches if I just laid them all out. Probably chop it down to like 44 inches. And then those two inches I cut off on either side, we'll probably put down the side here and glue and fasten it all together.
But it is a temporary top for this thing. Um, I'll probably experiment with this a little bit. I know that I want to maybe do some angle iron on the edge of this. So obviously this is just a scrap piece that I've got, but um, you know, maybe do something like that, but probably a little wider. So that's like one inch, maybe go like two inch. So it kind of comes way inside here and also cover up the side. And I'll just bring it down I'll 45. It'll probably TIG weld it, uh, seal it all up and then maybe glue it on there. I don't know. And then maybe if, you know, depending on how that works out, I may actually fill the rest of it with resin um, up to the top of the metal itself. So I'll experiment. I thought about beating this thing up some too, distressing it, you know, just kind of waggle some chains and put some like screw thread marks in it and just kind of make it distress. I also thought about staining it. Don't know if I want to do that or not. I really like this kind of, once this has either some kind of sealant or or a uh, an epoxy on it it will match the walls and then this is actually the same same wood here so you know it all kind of ties together so i think if i can just kind of distress it make it look a little bit older and rustic but that color i think i'll like it good thing is down the road i can uh i can always change it out so the way that i set it up was I just mounted some two by fours underneath 45 the corners a little bit and then it just lines up with these uh, one inch square tubes that I'll actually um, Drill holes and run screws in this way into that two by four on both sides so and then I've kind of kind of left this back here because I think I'm gonna put another trim piece that runs the length of the table uh, Out here that way it kind of matches the thickness of this all the way down so there you go, office table build complete. Now I just need some chairs and I can use it. And uh, I'm sure you'll see many more renditions of this build here as I kind of work my way through it. But i um, pretty happy with it so far. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. See you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.